Uh, my name is Takahiro Kaneshima. I'm a director of uh, Far East Contemporaries. Uh, in the, today's presentations, I ex, uh, introduced some uh, projects which I did in the East Asia. Uh, because now the technology comes to the daily life and the people just enjoy to use the technology as a kind of uh, tool of painting. So, and also, um, kind of this kind of uh, trend, maybe the artist wants to break the hierarchy of art. And uh, so I want to, through introducing this kind of projects, uh, which I did in East Asia, I hope the audience understand the current situation in the, in the East Asia of the contemporary art. Mm -hmm. And you're working together with the so-called Western art market as well, or is the relation between Asian art and Western art market? Uh, yes, I think most of the collectors are for the Asian contemporary art uh, is from uh, Europe or United States. Uh -huh. And recently, some Chinese uh, or Taiwanese collectors or Korean collectors. Mm -hmm. But I think most of the collector is from Europe. Mm -hmm. mm. And I also found it interesting that you have a model that you also sell works in the exhibition to be more experimental, or how do you? Uh, yes, I think the, because uh, to survive, uh, as an artist, the artist kind of have to also have to think about how to sell the artworks. And in the contemporary art scene, there is some many difficult points and the kind of manner which the artist should uh, accept. So kind of we advise the artist how to create the artworks which the create, uh, collectors willing to purchase. Mm -hmm. So this is, I kind of work with the artists to make uh, organizer or uh, collectors satisfied. Mm -hmm. Also, I also still kind of want to respect the, the artistic point of view. So I think balance, thinking about the balance is very important. Is it strange to brand yourself as Asian art? Like, how does it feel? Is it, is it um, an advantage for you to say, well, there's focusing on Asian art, or does it, as an Asian, does it feel strange to be branded as a region? Uh, yes, this, I think uh, many, uh, some artists say that make, uh, categorize as an Asian artist doesn't make sense. But I try, because um, there is no people who kind of uh, do this kind of project in Asia. So, and also there is many difference between China, Korea, and, and Japan still. So kind of, I use art as a communication tool to do some experimental projects with the artists. That's why I use the name of Far East Contemporaries. Mm -hmm. But so it, it's so, and, uh, and in the same, our generations, uh, many like uh, Chinese people or Korean people watch the same animation and we kind of have a same common sense or same kind of ideas. Uh, this kind of element is also interesting to me. Ah, so it's more like finding a closer view onto the differences yes. in the region yes. than just this Asia. Yeah, because like I, many, most of the Japanese people are just curious about what happens in the United States or Europe. Mm -hmm. But uh, and around Japan, there is many other interesting things happens. So I, I hope Japan, some Japanese or people start to be interested in uh, the country surrounds us. This is kind of one kind of a message. <laughs>